hey what's going on guys it's pal Phenom here and we got something pretty special we're doing here i've never done anything like this it's a video on it but uh i think it'll be pretty fun i'm wearing sunglasses because it's like a really weird like the sun's out and there's like a weird glare going on so just so i can see better but uh here underneath that tarp there we have a Craftsman LT 1000. Now, um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take the tarp off this thing. So hold on a second. Okay guys, so here's what it actually looks like. Uh, like I said, it's just your average riding lawnmower. Uh, it actually does run actually, but right now I do not have the battery in there. Right now, because the battery is dead. Let's start this thing up. It runs fine, it drives fine. Underneath the hood, average mower engine. Uh, when I got it, it ran, it drove fine. Still does drive fine. Now, I uh, uh, had to change the solenoid, so that's brand new. And get a new ignition coil. That's brand new too. This is kind of my little toy around the yard. I even made it my little throttle setup. It does not have a governor. It, it, it does not run with a governor on at all. This is my little throttle setup I made a long time ago. So when you pull it, see, it's just a, it's just a uh, rubber band that retracts it back. Same thing with the choke. Does not have a muffler actually. Let me show you. It is there. Yeah, it's it's got no muffler. It's it's very very loud when you start. That's what I wanted it. It did not cut grass well at all. So um, I just took the mower deck off of it. And this decided to have it as a little yard toy. I decided that I don't want to use this engine anymore, and uh, we're gonna do a little something special with it. Now, what many of you would say is that um, if I wanted it to go faster, and I know the risks of running it without the governor, that's why I would only really use it in the yard. So I wouldn't go like crazy and beat up on the engine, snap a rod, explode a flywheel, whatever. Um, that's why I only used it in the yard. But instead of me going out and buying a boatload of performance parts for the engine, which would cost a lot of money, <laughs> in other words, if any of you have experience with building racing mowers and upgrading the engines. It's, it's pretty expensive at times. But yeah, that's really, well, I, I don't wanna do that. So I decided to do some, uh, some thinking about what I should do with it to make it faster. And I decided that we're gonna be engine swapping this from a horizontal engine to a vertical engine. And now many of you say that Oh, this, that, that, that's going to be really difficult. That's not possible for a, a mower like this because they run, okay, you won't be able to see it, but they use transaxles. And if you look underneath these engines, they are in fact belt driven. I don't know if you can see it, but they are in fact belt driven. So what I'd have to do is convert, get rid of everything that makes it drive with this engine and get it prepared for a new engine that um, is set up differently. Now earlier I was doing some measurements on it and uh, how I planned to have it was um, when this engine's out, uh, I was gonna buy a Predator motor, have it sit um, where the original engine obviously is in the shaft um, where I'm going to place the engine should come out about here, run the, the clutch there, like where the clutch would normally be, um, and then run the chain uh, through all this to the back, and that transaxle is going to have to be changed out uh, to a straight solid axle because, um, because that won't support a normal vertical engine. It, they're built for lawnmower and everything this entire driveline setup is built for that engine and so it's gonna have to be completely converted to be able to support 
uh, the new engine we're going to put in there. What I should do, but I'm not going to do it, is uh, lower it. I'm not going to be lowering this mower because um, we have, where I live, if you can't tell already, uh, it's really, really, really wooded. And uh, who knows, it would be really fun to take this thing out on a trail with its new motor and just goof around with it. So now that you know basically what I'm going to be doing, what I'm actually going to start doing now is taking apart this uh, wiring. I already, I already took out the gas tank, I drained all the fuel earlier, uh, but I do need to take apart all of this wiring so I can uh, fully take out the engine because we won't be needing any of this wiring unless I plan to make an electric start for the new motor. Uh, who knows, I might, but we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, let's get started with just taking out all of the wiring and stuff. Okay, so here's what I got so far. Um, I took off all the bolts and all the little things holding on the wires and boy is it dirty in there it is just so dirty especially in there the wire for the uh, carburetor which is there got stuck and so I had to do a little bit of digging in there to get it unstuck and it is super nasty under there so um yeah basically the wiring is almost out i have a few more things to take out um i'm not going to bother recording that because it's basically all the same thing of me just undoing zip ties and unplugging stuff so uh i'll start recording again when i have all this stuff out There we go, much better. Okay guys, the wiring harness is out, or whatever you want to call it, the wiring ignition system, whatever. Um, even if I were to put this engine back in this mower, which I most likely will not be, uh, I won't be using that wiring system because it is just, most of it's directed for safety and stuff like that, but, so now that there's basically no more wires in this section, well, there still are, you can see, like there, but that actually leads to the back of the battery there, so, now what I can start doing is uh, taking out this engine and preparing it um, for its new engine. Okay, there is no way I'm doing that. tired uh but there was not enough room for me to actually work underneath there but so i just got the front end put it in gear and just flipped the whole thing up so it'd be easier for me to work on it and i'll admit it's so much easier like this than going underneath it because i couldn't find the jack stand or the jack in general so i just uh, picked it up flipped it and now we got this there's the mount there's another mount there's one there there's one there and they are so tight uh to the point where i couldn't even get them out with the ratchet uh, so i just went ahead and hooked it up uh this to uh the drill and see if i can drill them out Or... 
So I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but uh, my drill is not strong enough to get out those motor mounts there. Uh, tried a few different things, but it's just not that strong. It's not like, it's. I don't have like an air gun or anything like that. I'm pretty sure an air gun would just throw it out. <laughs> uh, but that's just like your ordinary average drill. Uh, so um, probably just gonna cut the head of the bolt off so I can just get the mounts off since they're not coming off anytime soon with the ratchet or the drill. I've been out here for quite a bit trying to get those mounts off, but no luck. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for part two of the build with the lawnmower so I can continue uh, trying to get the engine off. And then hopefully when we do in the next video, when we do get the engine off, We'll start doing all the measurements and preparing it for this new engine.